Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my Subaru. And man, oh man, is it not a beautiful day today. It is Sunday morning as I record this message. And man, we get to live in this place. And I get it. It's why our rent is so dang high. Anyway, welcome. And I want to continue our Advent Christmas series this morning. Uh, and I want to continue our discussion regarding Mary. I want to hit on something that uh, is, I think, really important to think about and discuss, and it has to do with who Mary is. I remember being uh, in a temporary season in between ministry jobs, and I had a temporary job at the Santa Barbara post office. And I'll never forget, uh, this guy came in, and I, I don't know how, but he knew I was a Christian, knew I was in ministry, and he walked in and he said, Adam, and kind of got my attention and he was kind of uh, intense and loud and excitable a little bit. He wasn't angry, but he looked at me and he says, How can you Protestants say that Jesus had other brothers and sisters? And I kind of took it back and, and then kind of quietly and uh, firmly said, Well, because the Bible says that Jesus had siblings and that Mary had other children. And the next day I came back and gave him a sticky note with several passages of scripture. I'll include them on the notes with this YouTube video, but I uh, showed him these verses and he took them and he says, well, I'm going to go talk to my priest. When it comes to Mary, it is really important to remember that Mary is a great example of faith and of faithfulness, but she was not the mother of God. Uh, culturally uh, and historically, uh, Mary was probably between 12 and 14 years old. It was not uncommon for young girls, I call them girls, back then they would have been women, uh, to be married. It was common for them to have marriages that were arranged by the parents, which I think is a great way to go, by the way. Um, but she was not the mother of God. Mary needed to be forgiven. Uh, Mary was imperfect. She was flawed. She was a sinner. She was human like you and I. And the Bible's clear. She was a great woman of faith. But she was simply the human vessel by which God became flesh and came into this world. And so while we can honor Mary and we could uphold her as an example of faith and faithfulness, we must be very careful. In fact, I think it's a very serious error to think of Mary in any sense as a mediator between us and God. And I think it's a serious error to pray to Mary or to expect that Mary might bless us. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, that there is one mediator between God and man, and that is the man, Jesus Christ. So look to Mary. Uh, learn from her and her faith and faithfulness. Let it be an example for you to follow. But let's not elevate her above and beyond what Scripture would teach and intend. So God bless you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that many of you will be able to come out to our Christmas Eve service, 5 p.m. It'll be a short service, maybe 45 minutes long. We're going to sing some classic Christmas hymns, a short message, and then... We'll go off to our homes, uh, dress warm, uh, wear a beanie, gloves, scarf, double jacket, and I cannot wait to be together again. God bless you guys, and we'll see you soon.